Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we we actually dwelling into the smart electricity meter, and the smart electricity meter is uh, subdivided into parts, like a normal meter reading, which uh, will read voltage and current, and will tell you the total power that is consumed and then the energy that is consumed. In the in the cases of uh, normal home uh, meters. It reads in kilowatts hour, but then here I made it to read kilowatts hour, but then like it would take time to accumulate such because uh, kilowatt hours is a very high uh, reading. So we have here the AC voltmeter, the AC ammeter, the relay, and the keypad. So basically what the AC voltmeter does, it reads the, the voltage and the ammeter reads the current and the relay, what it does is, is before, let's say, the there's no balance and you haven't entered a passcode, the balance will be zero, 00 until you enter a correct passcode and then it will uh, have a balance. After that, it will allow current to flow to this we will call this the load so this load can be any appliance it can be an iron or whatsoever and this is the keypad that uh, we used to utilize to enter the the voucher which you have and there are different vouchers and not all vouchers or not all uh, four digits that you put in the keypad will actually run the circuit, and we have the basic the add mega delta two deals with the software, the programming and uh, calculations and etc. And the LCD sixteen by two LCD display, which displays the 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 total amount of power, the energy, the voltage, and the the current. So, in this, uh, the energy is read by kilowatt hour. So you, you won't read pretty much uh, the the energy consumed because kilowatt hour is a large amount of energy. So then, it will take time, and uh, the ammeter is from zero to thirty amperes, and the the voltmeter or the the voltmeter reads from two two thirty to two two thirty to two eighty in between there. And you can alter the the bulb according to whatever you want. Here I put the resistance of eighteen and the nominal voltage of twenty twenty. Volts. So here it depends upon which which voltage you put here, and then you can alter the resistance using Ohm's law V is equal to IR, and then after when you alter, you can increase the current reading from this bulb. So yeah, it's pretty interesting, and uh, this basically filters out the distortion of the signal. Because this is the AC AC voltage, and uh, the the current sensor can read both DC and AC, so you don't pretty much have to uh, worry much. And w with the DC, you don't have to put all this uh, the dials and the capacitors in front here. And this is basically the reset button where you can reset your smart electricity meter. So let's run it and see how it goes. So as you start, you can see that it first asks you to enter a certain voucher in order for it to run. So I have uh, vouchers that I pre-installed uh, or pre, I put them or I have uh, programmed it to run through. So some uh, four digit numbers, it won't run through. For example, let's try, let's try 2687. So now you see that it entered as uh, 
it enters correctly and now we have uh, the energy reading and each time it it calculates and subtracts from the from the energy that you have the energy left and you can see that here we have the voltage of 229.98 and if you can see here that is 230 volts and uh, the current is about 12.54 so you can see here is 12.7 so it's quite accurate only about 0 0.2 uh, difference so yeah this is what I've designed and wanted to show you and if you're interested in the circuit and in the program uh, the program uh, I used Atmel Studio and uh, programmed it in C so if you want the circuit and the, the, the program I can actually link it up in the description box so uh, please comment and tell me uh, what else do you want to see and uh, if you have any questions pertaining the smart electricity meter thank you after midnight 233 the time I wrote this cause when it's done